Hi everybody, this is Jake, your resident content cowboy here. Yeehaw! Okay, great. I'm here talking more about Horizon Forbidden West, a game I'm really, really excited for. And I wanted to go through some moments from the gameplay trailer that they recently released. I guess it wouldn't be a trailer, would it? It's just gameplay footage that they did on their live stream that looks amazing. By the way, if you haven't watched it in 4K, I captured it. I hope you can see it from this video, but I'll also have a link below of the video where you can watch it in 4K. It looks amazing. So I'm going to go through some of that footage. I'm going to give you some of my takes on it. And also I'm going to point out some things that look like huge improvements from the first game. I am also going to talk to you a little later in the video about the release date. Uh, I'm sure you probably noticed that they did not have a release date at the end of all that footage. They said they are on track. And now recently a PlayStation boss has come out and said they don't know if they're going to make this holiday window. So I actually have a theory that could be really, really good for Horizon Forbidden West. First, let's take a look at this gameplay footage and we'll talk about all the differences and all the cool stuff that they are doing with it. Enough of this face, let's go. So like I said, I'm just gonna be talking about some of the differences we see from Horizon Zero Dawn and some of the cool things that we see in this trailer. First of all, I mean, it looks freaking phenomenal. I know they say that this is captured on a PS5. I will be playing it on a PS5, so I'm very excited. It will still be on PS4, but this is a crazy looking 4K image, so it's not gonna be this amazingly beautiful on PS4. However, the last game looked great on PS4, so I'm sure they're still going to make a really competent, amazing looking game. Let's talk about this section here. I'm gonna skip forward just a little bit. Here we see new enemy units and an enemy human riding one of these new beasts. And this isn't that crazy because we've seen other people besides Aloy interact with these creatures before. Not exactly to this extent. I'm really excited for what this means because I found the combat in the first game with the human enemies to be pretty underwhelming. It's just, it didn't have the excitement that the beasts do. So adding the beasts to that makes it really, really interesting. I'm curious, this was something I wanted to talk about. Why in this moment, I know they wanna show off some things here like the smoke bomb, but why does Aloy go on this sort of uncharted style cinematic run from these enemies? It, maybe it has something to do with their red eyes and that they are possessed in some way by the storm that we seem later and it makes them stronger. The reason I'm saying all this is because this seems like a totally doable <laughs> encounter in the other game, but I'm curious as to why perhaps they have her run again in this way that feels like something they do in Uncharted where it's almost uh, on rails, but it's not quite on rails. I don't know. I'm interested to see why you would run from these enemies in this moment but we get to see her traverse different obstacles because of it, and we get to see her go underwater, which could be pretty freaking cool in this game. The last game had nothing like this, so the only thing I worry about with underwater sections is that sometimes there isn't that much to do under there, like you kind of swim under there for a treasure chest or something like that, but this looks like there could be more there, you know, that could be like a snap maw or whatever from the previous game. So there could be enemies under the water that you could somehow fight. I'm excited to see what you can do with this underwater section. I hope it's not just dive really deep down there and go in that cave and you find a little fragment of something. You know how games always have you find in fragments and this last game had you find in a lot of fragments. Further ahead here, we see what I would consider one of the most exciting parts of this entire gameplay trailer, which is some of the combat with these humans. And we're seeing that they have pieces of equipment on them that you can knock off. And that is great. Because in the previous games, the combat against humans is boring. But if they can make it similar to some of the beasts that Aloy fights, that would be really, really cool. Also, it looks like there are new combos added. Enemies do different things. So it can really vary up these encounters quite a bit. And look at her. What's she doing here? 
A little bit of a shocking thing. Okay, cool. In this moment, we get to see Aloy's new Breath of the Wild style, wild style, Breath of the Wild style glider, which is very cool. This is like one of the coolest things from the trailer. They knew it was cool. They show it a few times and it's pretty freaking awesome. So I loved seeing that. Here we get to see Aloy fight a giant machine elephant thing, as you do, and it's got cannons on the side, of course. So she gets to use this new weapon here that really blows things off. It's like throwing these little exploding javelins. It's very cool. They show off a couple new weapons inside this trailer, and this is a really fun one. And also, it looks like a fun enemy to fight. I love when you blast pieces off the machines and you get to use them against them, which we do get to see here as well. But first, this little sticky sling. So the slings in the old game had some pretty incredible abilities, you know, frost and freeze and poison and corruption and all that. But this one seems really cool because it immobilizes giant creatures, which at times you need to do, especially if you wanna get some of those precise shots like we just saw there. Of course, like I said, picking up the weapon from the enemy that you just blew it off of and firing it, it was in the previous game, but it's cool nonetheless. It's always awesome to do that. This this fight is like all horizon to me. This is everything I want in this game. This is a cool moment that they set up. So of course we can see the glider again and we can see this environment get demolished by this beast. I'm curious how much of the environments are destructible. Is it all the time? Is it in certain encounters? I'm not sure, but it is really cool to see something like that because that's quite different from what we've seen before. And a fitting end to a giant evil robot elephant. We also see some cool story stuff, but I'll just let this footage continue while I talk to you a little bit about the release date. Overall, I thought this gameplay footage looked amazing, and I think this is pretty much everything I was hoping for in a New Horizon game. Now, let me talk to you about what I said earlier, why I think them not releasing a release date, boy, that could have been worded better, is actually possibly a good thing for Horizon Forbidden West. First of all, they needed to announce that God of War was delayed. Pretty much everyone knew God of War would be delayed, but they hadn't announced it, they hadn't said anything. And now they haven't said what they wanna do with this release date. There are a couple possibilities. One, they're gonna miss their window and they're trying to figure out what to do because of that. But another possibility is that they want to have big announcements around e3 time so they're saving the fact that horizon forbidden west will make it this year so that they can have that big announcement like hey god of war got pushed back sorry about that but horizon is going to make it those are my thoughts let me know what you thought of the gameplay trailer i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching or listening i'll see y'all next time Mwah.